Hello, and welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. This is mainly about Ubuntu, not just open source, but how a home user can replace a proprietary operating system with open source. I myself realize until the world embraces the open source applications as I have, I may need to keep proprietary software. One B in Microsoft Office 2010. This is my personal license version. And what I'm going to do is to show the installation of Play on Linux and then the installation of Microsoft Office 2010 using Play on Linux and create some shortcuts in the panel. Yes, this is a bit of a teaser video. Play on Linux does not come installed stock, so we gotta go to snack, snap the package manager as I explained is my preferred way to install. Put in your password. And I'm gonna search for play on Linux. Play on Linux is a front end version for Wine. And Wine is what really lets the Windows applications run and play on Linux. It's not an emulator, it's the compatibility layer. Hit mark again, then hit apply, and apply again. And then we wait for it to install. Sometimes I like to watch. But as I said, um, it's not an emulator program, it's a compatibility layer program. And what Play Analytics does, it allows you to do with the install to isolate Wine emulators, I mean Wine compatibility layers for different Windows applications that you choose to install. So there be so I will have a single Wine compatibility layer for my Microsoft Office 2010 and if I choose to install another Windows application Play on Linux would uh, choose if it's in its install programming list and we'll show you the programming list it will choose what it believes to be what's the best Wine compatibility layer especially if your uh, program that you want to install is in the list so this is going to take some time and YouTube only allows so long. So I will pause this. Then I'll come back. As your install goes on, you'll be prompted to do some things. Accept, license, forward, then let the install go on. Gotta pause again, this might take some time. So after everything's installed, this is what we get. Close. And close. It took a while. You notice the time. It took a long time for that install may happen that may happen to the same thing while do use and play on Linux. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. So now we're gonna go find play on Linux, which will be under games. We'll start the program up, play on Linux. And so this is the screen, uh the user interface for play on Linux. Um, like I said, play on Linux is just a user interface for Wine. And it also helps manage the uh, Wine compatibility layers. So I'm going to run the install. Now the first time will always take a long time because it has to download all these um, startup menus, install menus. Now mine will be under Office when it is gets full. So I'm going to pause again until that gets full. Whoops. I don't want to do that. Pause. So here we go. The menus have list uh, has downloaded and installed. So here's what we have for accessories, development, 
education, games, lots of games, lots of games of wine compatibility layers for play on Linux. Graphics. Now I don't own Adobe Photoshop, but I hear it's not bad and it works well for it. Google Picasso. Internet. Multimedia. And all as you do for these, for some of these, you click on it, and as you see over here, is downloading the information it just has no description but some of them will have a description whether they're, they're good or bad no description uh, let's try this one sync see this one has information sync with i devices doesn't work so it'll, it'll give you a bit of information of things that do and don't work or what happens okay uh, where I see uh, multimedia office Adobe reader it also tells you a little bit about the program other and patches so what I'm focused on here for you today is Office and most specifically Office 2010, Microsoft Office 2010 for my own personal version, my own personal license one that I have. Now this I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so we're going to install Microsoft Office 2010 on Play on Linux. So you just click the install button. Then another window comes up. And it gives you all this here information here. What it's what it's going to do to your computer and system. You can tell it don't remind me anymore. Do press next. Same, just just some more information what it's going to do to your system. Press next. And now the install window will appear. Here we go. And this is basically a wizard, an install wizard. And it's going to tell you the prefix where it's going to put it. And how Play on Linux is not responsible for anything that happens. So you click next. Now it tells you. It tells you when it encounters a problem. I'm going to set this to the side here because we're going to have to open Synaptic. And what it's telling me will stop the installation process. Go further information. Okay, why did it do that? Let me try this again. Now I know from past experiences of there's a div uh, something's missing next normally it tells me what's missing here we go please install Winbind before installing Microsoft Office 2010 so let me set this aside here I'm going to go to Synaptic Package Manager. I'm going to input my password. Move this back aside so I can see Winbind, so I can spell it properly. Winbind. W-I-N-B-I-N-D. Here we go, right down here at the bottom. 
right click mark for installation mark apply and apply again whatever reason my internet is acting up the way it is I'm gonna pause until it's installed so here we go changes applied so Synaptic package manager has installed this wind bind so we'll close exit out of Synaptic exit out of click next now what we gotta do is hit install again you don't have to exit out of uh, play on Linux just in, hit the install again go back to the office like I did before and then click install and the window will come up and it will recheck and it should not give us an error this time there we go now it's looking for where my, my installation is coming from from our user setup on my computer or a DVD I gotta pause again and I'll be back okay so when you click the install Microsoft Office 2010 it's going to ask you how are you going to install it either from a file in the computer or DVD I'm using a DVD I'm going to click next I'm going to click Office 14 that's what you want to choose is Office 14 And it says it's going to create the virtual drive. And as you can see, it's downloading Wine 1.7.52. And because it's the size of the file, um, I'm going to pause again. And now you can see it went on to a diff another install that, that's part of uh, Play on Linux to run Microsoft Office 2010. Um, this is the wine get go. Now I'll pause this again until it gets to the next part. Now, as the next part of the install is wine mono. This one is 4.5.6. MSI. Until it gets to the next part of the install, I'll pause it again. And so now wine is going to create its virtual drive. The wine compatibility later actually. Um, allow Microsoft Office 2010 to be installed. As you see, the Windows Play on Linux um, application it had to download different parts. So this is why I'd, I'd like to use Play on Linux. If you were to use Wine by itself, you would have to know everything to install Windows Microsoft Office 2010. Here everything is done for you okay doki I know it it's gonna allow me to try okay that's not the one that I want here we go this is the window I was trying to get up I saw it now I can enter my um, license product key once again I'm going to install this is my personal Microsoft Office 2010 so let me pause and enter my product key okay so now I'm at the next step of the installation from the DVD I entered my product key then I hit continued and now is this is the next step from the DVD I accept continue I like to do the custom and ins customize install and all I do is to change run all I like to get everything in there then I install now and now the DVD is going to do its install to the wine compatibility compatibility layer to allow Microsoft Office to be installed and run and this is going to take some time because it's about two gigs of data from the DVD so I'm going to pause this again 